Greetings, everybody. Chaplain Bob here, Light of the World Ministries. John 8, 12. You know the deal. Hey, uh, I guess I'm, well, I don't know. I got my two-week ban on YouTube, and if I get another strike, they delete the channel. So I'm doing a little something different. Um, I There is basically nowhere else to go. I mean, I, I just don't know of anywhere else to go. I've been doing a little bit on YouTube, I mean, um, fake, fake book, but uh, I've checked out all the other places there. Everybody's like, oh, MeWe and Brand New Tube and all this other junk. And they're all, it's all the same thing. I mean, you know, so like I say, that's why I've been telling everybody, you know what? You want my work, get a uh, an SD card or a USB drive to me. I'm not sure how much longer I'm going to be here. Um, so what can I tell you? All right. Well, one day, um, if you want to uh, avoid the mark of the beast, uh, well, if you believe in the pre-trib rapture, well, then you're going to be told by your church that, well, you're, you know, this can't be the mark of the beast because you're not going to be here. We're not going to be here. We're going to be flying up to heaven with Christ, you know. Um, even though nobody knew about that before 150 years ago. But, uh, you know, one day if you want to avoid the mark of the beast in whatever form it is, I don't know if it's going to be the the uh, Vaz, Vaz, V-A-Z-Z-I-N-E, Vazine. Vaz, yeah. But, uh, or if it's a chip or whatever form it comes in, one day, Amer uh, Christians are going to have to flee the cities. Now, this thing here is from a company called ASE. It stands for Aviation Survival Equipment. Uh, the guys were uh, pilots or aviators. And when you fly to Alaska, which they did, accord, uh, according to their website, uh, the FAA, the Federal Aeronautics Administration, requires you to have a survival kit. Uh, a certain amount of food, a certain amount of water, signal equipment, compass, you know, knife, and stuff like that. So... They said they had a very, very, very hard time getting all the equipment together. So they said, well, why don't we put together a kit that you just buy it and boom, there you go. Now they got a personal pocket kit, which is, um, it's probably, it's not like an Altoids tin. No, it's much bigger than that. It's, uh. I would say it's probably, what size is it? It's probably half the size of a 12 ounce box of pasta. Um, and I'm talking about a square box, not a, uh, not spaghetti, not a long box and probably a little thinner. Uh, it would easily fit in a cargo pocket of a pair of pants. It's basically a three day kit. And some of the, uh, you could take a look at some of these pictures, um, but it's, uh, it has a lot of really good stuff in it. Let me read some of the, uh, uh, in, uh, things that it holds. Now it's called ASE Best Glide. That's if you're doing a Google search, you type in ASE Best Glide. And what they mean about best glide is if, you know, if you're in an airplane and the engine cuts off, you want to glide in and land, right? And have your survival kit. Well, they got the uh, the pocket survival kit. It's around $40, and that would include the shipping. Uh, Amazon has it, even. Or I would suggest ordering it from them directly. But they also have the ultimate survival kit, which is uh, about the size. Uh, it's a little smaller. It's smaller, probably half the size of a shoebox. And it's uh, it's got some more stuff in it. 
It's even got uh, the Ultimate's got uh, fishing equipment and stuff. So yeah, if you were in an airplane and it went down and you were stuck out in the wilderness, uh, it'd be nice to have. But if you were um, FEMA wants everybody to have a three-day uh, emergency pack, so if you ever had to leave because of a hurricane or whatever, you know, it would be very handy to have this and matter of fact, keep on your person or in a car or in a survival pack. So, all right, some of the things that this plate thing has, let's take a look. Uh, my recommendation is the uh, Military Scout Pocket Survival 10. Don't be fooled, this is not an Altoids uh, tin. No, this is much, much, much bigger. It has many U.S. military and NATO approved military type items. And uh, a lot of the items are made in the USA. So it's got a uh, weather resistant tin container with a uh, rubber seal gasket with vinyl tape around it to keep it waterproof. And then it has a military specs outer packaging. Uh, basically it's in a plastic, uh, plastic wrap around it that's sealed. It has a NATO issue button compass. You have some survival type matches, uh, storm matches, NATO U.S. military issue. It's got a tiny razor knife, sewing kit with safety pins, uh, water purification tablets. I'm not sure how many. Um, a survival whistle. A mini survival fishing kit. You've got some uh, utility cord. I guess that's parachute cord. Uh, a brass snare wire. Signal mirror. Uh, it says beeswax candles. I don't know how many. Probably at least two, right? A fire starter with uh, a striker. Very important to have that thing. I would keep that on me along with a real knife anyways. And then you got fire starter tablets. Uh, you've got a like a magnifying lens. Some bandages. A pocket wire saw. Uh, tie wraps, a water bag, survival instructions, a pencil, and a moisture absorbent uh, desiccant. You see those when you open up a, a bottle of pills or aspirin or vitamins that has those, that little thing that absorbs the, uh, uh, the moisture from the air. Uh, it says the tin size is about four and a half inches by three and a half inches by half uh one and a half uh, i'm sorry 4.5 inches by 3.3 .3 inches by 1.2 inch approximately weight is about three i'm sorry six six point three ounces and you could also get a carrying kit for it that hangs on your belt so that's just something to think about. And let's see. And then they got a uh, emergency fishing kit. And also uh, they've got a, what's called the ultimate survival kit. It's about $65. Um, it has uh, basically everything the other kit has but it has a one, two one quart water bags, a coffee filter, which you use for straining water prior to putting it in the bag. You know, you want to filter out any um, what anything floating around in the water. Uh, let's see, it's got a more detailed fishing kit. It's got a little bit of duct tape. Uh, 10 feet of utility cord, parachute cord. It's got a mini first aid kit, which includes antibiotic ointment, 
uh, aspirin, non-aspirin, pain reliever, sting relief band-aids, butterfly bandages, gauze pads, moleskin, blah, blah, blah. Uh, let's see. Extra matches. Um, let's see. Aluminum foil. It's got a space blanket. Let me tell you about a space blanket, people. Um, if you're not moving and you're underneath a tree and you got a space blanket around you, uh, a space blanket is basically, you know, uh, on the car where you put the thing over the front, uh, the front window to protect the dash from the sun's rays. You got that heat reflector. That is basically what a space blanket does. It blocks, it reflects heat. So if you're wearing a space blanket, your body produces heat. And if you have an infrared thermal imaging device, you can see somebody's body heat at night. Well, if you're wearing a space blanket, they can't see you. Now, the problem is, is if you're moving, it looks like a black spot moving at night. But if you were underneath a tree and you had one of these things that you were wearing over your body, uh, you know, they might see your head. But then again, you might look like a squirrel or a raccoon or something. So, space blankets. Uh, it's got a notebook, a rainproof notebook um, the advanced adventure kit also has a water filter straw a micro flashlight and extra water purification tablets and that is about uh, 7.3 inches by 4.6 inches by 2.3 inches and it weighs 23 ounces so it is, uh, that's, I have one of those in my uh, survival kit. Very, very, very handy to have. So I just thought I would throw that out there. Uh, this would be very good to throw in a, a three-day kit. I mean, you know. You can go probably, most people can go a couple weeks without any food. Um, but three days without water, you're in trouble. Uh, if you're in the desert, I imagine you'd be lucky to make it two days. But uh, the uh, water purification tablets are very, very useful if you could find, uh, you know, if you dig in the ground and you find water or a stream or something or whatever, uh, you can throw this stuff, the water purification tablets in there, and it kills all the germs. Very, very, very useful. So, something to think about. Uh, all righty. I just thought I would uh, let you know. And oh, by the way, Best Glide ASE has free shipping on orders over $99. So if you ordered the Ultimate Adventure Survival Kit and the Pocket Survival Kit, and I suggest the military one, the military scout one, that's a hundred bucks. You know, keep one in the car, keep one in your pack, uh, one for each of your kids, your spouse. Hopefully you care about the spouse, right? Uh, but you know, I'm being sarcastic. Uh, just something to think about, people. You know, so. Uh, it's coming to a day. Now, this is not a long-term survival kit. This is just something to get out of town with. And hopefully, uh, yeah, I got more survival information coming. So keep that in mind. All righty, Chaplain Bob, all praise, glory, and honor to in Jesus' name, amen.